Hello friends, today we are going to analyze the given force system in which we have given five numbers of loading as shown in the figure. Now observing the figure, 15 Newton load is horizontal, 120 Newton load is upward direction or we can say that vertical, 100 Newton as well as bottom 100 Newton is acting at 60 degree with the x axis or horizontal axis while 130 Newton load having a slope of 5 horizontal unit and 12 vertical unit. So first of all we have to find the angle of this 130 Newton load with the horizontal or vertical. So let us assume that the angle between this 130 Newton as well as this horizontal axis is as a theta and applying the tan theta rule we have tan theta which is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side and it is 12 by 5 and by solving this we will have the angle between 130 Newton as well as horizontal negative axis is 67.38 degree. Now the next step is we have to resolve these all the forces into two perpendicular axes. First we are going for this 100 Newton load then the perpendicular resolution of this force is 100 into cos 60 in horizontal axis. So it is 100 cos 60 while vertical resolution is 100 sin 60 as the 60 degrees with the horizontal and we have to taken care of the direction of this resolved forces as the 100 Newton load is going outside then the both the resolution is also in the outside direction and if it is in inside then we have to put the inside side. Now going ahead for the second 100 Newton load and if we resolve into two mutually perpendicular axes then observing the angle which is with the x axis and the x component is 100 cos 60 while 100 sin 60 is with the vertical axis. Now observing again this 100 Newton load which is outside and we have to draw a outside direction for the resolved forces. Now going ahead for 130 Newton load. So first of all if we draw a perpendicular resolved force then the angle is with the horizontal which is 67.38. So horizontal component is 130 cos of angle which is 67.38 and the vertical component is 130 sin 67.38 degree and again this force is outside hence the both the component is outside direction. First we have to calculate the algebraic summation of all the horizontal forces which is sigma h now observing one by one 120 newton is vertical 100 cross 60 is in the positive direction so it is positive 100 cross 60 again bottom one is in the horizontal direction and it is in the positive direction so it is plus 100 cross 60 now 50 newton is in the horizontal positive direction so it is only 50 Now considering this 130 cos 67.38 degree resolved force it is in the negative direction so we have to take it as a negative 130 cos 67.38 degree. Now solving this value we will have sigma h as a 100 Newton. Now for the second step we have to calculate the sigma v it means algebraic summation of all the vertical forces now 120 newton is in upward direction it means in the positive so it is 120 positive 100 sin 60 is also in the positive direction so it is positive 100 sin 60 now here 100 sin 60 is in the downward direction or we can say that negative direction so it is negative 100 sin 60 50 newton is horizontal so it is not considered in the sigma v and 130 sin 67.38 is upward positive direction so it is positive 130 sin 
67.38 degree. Now summing up all these value, we will have sigma v as a 240 Newton. So first we have to calculate sigma h and sigma v. It means algebraic summation of horizontal as well as the vertical result forces. After that we have to calculate resultant and for that we have square root of sigma h square plus sigma v square. Now we will have both the value sigma h and sigma v as a hundred and two forty. And solving this value we will have r as a 39.99 or we can say that almost 40 Newton. So the resultant of this given force is 40 Newton. It means we have the magnitude and we know that resultant or any force must have magnitude as well as the direction. So assuming that this resultant is making a angle with the horizontal axis then the tan theta for this resultant force is as a tan theta r which is mode of sigma v by sigma h. Now sigma v value is 240 while sigma h as a 100 and solving this value we will have the angle of resultant which is 67.38 degree and if we have to locate this resultant with the coordinate system then considering sigma h and sigma v both are positive it means our resultant lies in first quadrant so our sigma v is positive or we can say that positive y axis sigma h is positive and positive x axis now our angle is 67.38 degree and this angle is with the horizontal or we can say that the with x axis so we have to make an angle 67.38 degree with the horizontal and the resultant value is 40 Newton. This figure indicates that the resultant of this given figure is in the first quadrant with the angle 67.38 degree with horizontal axis and value is 40 Newton. Thank you.